Hello everyone and welcome to my very first mining series. Today I'm going to show you a very old mine which is about 300 years old at my local area. So what you can see here at the moment is uh, a small little hill and actually this is all the material the people carried out of the mine and if we go up here you can see a small valley and on top of the valley there is the mine entrance which of course is already collapsed but there still remains a small little hole where it is possible to go inside and I will show you this in a few moments of course everything I do is on my own risk so please don't repeat what I show in this video and of course I'm using some safety guards safety is number one priority so I'm wearing a helmet and some goggles and I'm also of course wearing gloves just to not get in contact with any of the material you will see in a few moments that the mine is a little bit radioactive so I will show you with the Geigel counter and I'm also going to knock some material down and to further investigate uh, the minerals at home so of course you also need some protection that you don't breathe in all the dust so here is the mine entrance and yeah let's go inside Okay, so here you can see the mine, and here on that side, of course, here is the entrance. I, I forgot to tell you that you, of course, need to make sure at first if there are any toxic gases like CO2 or carbon monoxide or even radioactive radon inside. So I would say, let's have a look on the radiation here. As you can see, the radiation uh, is about 2.12 microsieverts, so around 2 microsieverts, uh, which is actually quite high. The normal background radiation is about 0 0.15 microsieverts, which makes actually sense, because uh, this local area is well known for its uranium occurrence, even though they never mined after it. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the minerals inside here. So here is just some regular stone. But if you go a little bit deeper inside, there you can see some very interesting patterns on the wall. And if you go even deeper, yeah, that's just looking like a lot of iron and regular stone. So the people probably mined after iron inside here, but they also mined after something else, which I'm going to show you in a few moments. So uh, the mine is pretty well intact, there are no loose stones on the, on the ceiling. So actually that's the end of the mine, with a little bigger room, where it seems that they knocked down a lot of iron, and here you can see that's probably iron. I will take a small sample at home and to prove that it's actually iron but i'm pretty sure that's just really black just like iron oxide actually i also found something very interesting because i noticed this little 
slot like here and I'm also going to knock down a little bit of that. You can actually see how they tried to scratch it out but I'm going to take a little bit with me and I'm going to investigate further at home which mineral this actually is. So let's have a quick look outside again and then I'm going to put on my dusk mask and I'm trying to collect a little bit of mineral. Okay guys, I'm now inside here again and I hope you can still hear me through my breathing mask. Try and get behind there where I found the minerals. And I'm just going to knock down a little bit with my hammer and my chisel. That's what I'm searching for. Well, there are actually a lot of pieces down here. Okay, so here I have something. I found some more beautiful pieces. Let's have a look after the iron. Well, I'm interested in the darkest pieces I could find here. So, yeah. Okay guys, so here are my rock samples and this sample here uh, are the rocks which I think contain the iron and here you can see the iron is a pretty dark stone so this is the iron rock and as you see I'm touching it with a magnet and I can feel that it is very slightly attracted. And I'm going to show you a little trick now. So here you can see my homemade oxyhydrogen generator and I'm now going to try and melt a little bit of this stone. We will see what happens. Okay, so now let's quickly melt some stone.
Okay, so here you can see the melted stone. And as you see, it kind of turned into glass or obsidian. And what you also can see is this very gray substance. And as you can see, this gray substance is quite magnetic. So for sure, there is a lot of iron inside of that stone. Okay, so now we know that in this mine they probably mined after iron, but uh, let's now have a look on the second mineral and I already have a guess what it could be. So here I show you the close up. I also tried to melt this rock and it of course also melted and turned into something like glass but it also smelled really a lot like sulfur and therefore I think that this rock contains lead or zinc sulfide and I'm going to show you a little experiment I am going to take one of these rocks okay so I'm now going to crush some pieces of the rock and I'm going to make a fine powder okay so it's now crushed up pretty well and I'm going to run it through a fine screen And now I'm going to heat it up because at the moment I think what I have here is mostly zinc or lead sulfide and when I'm going to heat it up I am able to get rid of the sulfur which will smell very nasty so I'm going to do this outside and then I will remain with some zinc or lead oxide and with zinc or lead oxide I will be able to make some kind of thermite so let's see if this works. So now I'm going to heat it up without blowing too much away. Okay, so now it cools down and I'm going to grind it one more time just to get it even finer. And now to make actually thermite, I'm going to take some aluminum powder which I made with my homemade ball mill. So here I have my aluminum and now I'm going to take a about twice the amount of my metal oxide. So just like that. And now I'm going to mix those two together. Okay, so here I have now my powder. I also have this little stick which is just some sparkle powder and using that I'm going to ignite this format. So what I'm now going to try is to mix a second batch 
using only some pitch sand. Okay, so let's go outside. Okay, so that's my ore mixed with some aluminum powder. And that one is the sample just with sand. And as you can see, as expected, there is just no reaction. Okay, so here you can see the residue from the experiment. And as you see, it actually melted through the aluminum can. That's the residue from the reaction, which I'm now going to try and melt down. So now I melted it down and I can tell you there were a lot of sulfur fumes. So probably heating the mixture up before burning it uh, didn't remove a lot of the sulfur. It only did about half. And I think that the ferment also only burned because of the sulfur. So I had pure aluminum which... Uh, bounded to the sulfur which came from the ore and now I heated up the residue and I melted it and as you can see it again turned into something like glass and it also is a little bit clear which is really surprising because I can tell you, I melted a lot of stones in the past using my oxyhydrogen torch. And really never, never the lava or the molten rock turned out to be clear afterwards. So that's really surprising. Okay guys, so as you, as you can probably tell, this also was a bit of an experiment for me. And... At the moment I still don't know exactly what this ore is. The only thing I know is that they definitely searched after it at the mine because at every spot where this ore was they tried to scratch and hammer it out. So I'm showing you a close up and guys if someone of you knows a little bit more about minerals than, than I do Please tell me what this rock is and what it contains. I mean, it definitely contains a lot of sulfur. So thank you guys for watching. And in the next mining series, I'm going to investigate another mine, which is only about 100 meters away from the mine where I got this rock from. And this mine really is highly radioactive. And I'm going to try and find the source of radiation in that mine. So stay tuned. Bye bye.